How's it going guys? It's Flint here from Backyard Blasters. This Nerf gun you can pick up from uh, most retailers. Uh, for example, Target, Walmart, BW. Uh, most big retailers should have these in their store. So it's just from the Nerf line. Uh, here's the box, it's quite big. I think I've only just got it in frame. So that's the front of it. They're claiming up to 21 meters of range. Um, firing up to five darts per second. Including 25 elite darts. Oh, 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 oh. And it requires 4D batteries. Well, oh, that's going to be expensive. Right, so a look on the back. Oh, yeah, the batteries aren't included, guys. Just uh, uh, as with most, most things, they're not included. So on the back here, just tells you a little bit about it. Fires 5 darts per second. Uh, as, as mentioned before, fully motorized. 25 dart, 25 round dart drum. Uh, and here they've got this little cool little scale down here uh, that shows you 50% of the darts would fall between 20 to 21 meters and the other 50% would fall below that. So that's pretty cool. They've, they've done that over the past few years. Uh, that's a neat little feature there uh, to give you an idea of how consistent the ranges are. Not sure whether that's firing flat or elevated. Uh, most likely it's firing elevated. Okay, down here it just says includes blaster, 25 dart drum, 25 darts and instructions. Right, so let's get straight into it. We'll open it up. Okay, so you're just going to need to take a, uh, a badass knife like this. Just flick it open like that. And uh, you're good to go. So this cost me $59 um, at Big, Big W. So it's currently actually on sale. Uh, they've just recently released these Nerf Blasters and uh, yeah, they're usually this usually retails for 88 um, supposedly that so they've reduced it from that to 59 and that's because uh, it's mid-year we've got sales going on right now Oh, there we go Would you just look at that? Well, that's, so there it is uh, looks quite nicely packaged. Implemented some cardboard here to keep everything in place. Take out these instructions. Now that'll give you your basic uh, operations there. But uh, we don't need to read that. It's pretty intuitive. There's the drum, 25 dart, 25 round drum. Uh, the 25 darts. Now the blaster itself. Let's take this bad boy out. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so there she is. Uh, as you can see, it's got quite a nice uh, camo pattern. I don't know whether it's, you'd call it a camo pattern, not really, but it's got these streaks on it. Uh, plastic's very nice. Uh, you know, it's polished, it's glossed. If you ever want to do paint jobs with blasters, that is why you always sand them because the gloss prevents uh, spray paint from sticking to it. So uh, just a quick little tip for you guys, if uh, any of you are into modifying Nerf guns. So that's the hyperfire there in a nutshell. You've got the stock here, and this is where your batteries are located. A pretty sweet little grip here, um, which looks, you know, it's very comfortable, definitely very comfortable and quite nice. Underneath you've got the magwell, so this is where you insert the magazine. Up here, this is uh, used as a foregrip, really, uh, to stabilize the blaster. The muzzle at the front, can't attach barrels onto this. Um, you know, other Nerf accessories. On the top, a tactical rail. Now this thing, this is the jam door, so this is what you open if there's a jam, but it also functions as the feeding mechanism for the blaster. So this is pretty groovy, because how it works is there's a belt here that rotates, and there's a little tab on it. And there's two tabs on the belt, so it flicks one, and then as it continues around, the second tab flicks another, and that's why it can get su such a fast firing rate. Um, much more effective than the pusher mechanism. So that is a really nice feature, that's why it's quite bulky. So there's some gears in there that are spinning that belt around. If you guys can see it there, there's the tab I was talking about. So that's the jam door, and you do have to have that pushed all the way forward in order to fire. Uh, it's quite comfortable to shoulder, and uh, we'll just load in the drum and give it a shooting test. 
All right guys, so before we do the firing test, I just wanted to quickly show you how to install the batteries. So there's two screws here, you just need a Phillips head screwdriver uh, to undo those. You know, I really want to get one of those handheld uh, screwdrivers that's like electric. You just push a button and uh, off it goes. You know, it saves a bit of time. Especially if you're into, uh, you know, modifying Nerf guns. You always got to unscrew all the screw ports and it does take time. You can, uh, you know, get your wrist quite sore. Okay, so there's the inside. That's where your 4D batteries go. So that actually adds quite a bit of weight to the blaster, which uh, makes it quite balanced when you're you know, shouldering and holding it. There's tabs here just to um, help line up the battery terminals. Okay. So guys, as I mentioned at the start, D batteries are really expensive and uh, I wasn't gonna buy any because I actually have a LiPo battery here, which I've used in some of my RC uh, toys, like I've got an RC speedboat, that's what I use this in. So what I've done is I've simply stuck on some wire onto that terminal and then alligator clip, I think that's called an alligator clip, this one just here, onto the other terminal. And then you simply plug this bad boy in, and uh, that just sits really nicely down in here. Fits really nicely. So as you can see, I did remove the little uh, plastic pieces that were there just before to uh, separate the two batteries where you'd put your batteries in. So if you've got a LiPo, do this. If, uh, if you've got a battery of any sort that uh, will, will fit it, then just do it, mate. Just chuck it in there. So it would usually run on 6 volts. This is 7.2 volts, so it's got a little bit more kick. I think 23% uh, extra power. So uh, that's, that's pretty cool. So that just sits in there. And we're going to close that up and screw it together. Alrighty guys, so the uh, drum mag is loaded, that just simply feeds up in there, 25 in the drum as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Oh, what I haven't gone over is the uh, the function here of course. So there's two little switches here, now this one is to drop the uh, drum magazine, you just pop that, give it a little shake and she'll roll out, just like that. And the rev trigger here, so, oh you've got to push this forward first. Now this blaster runs on flywheels, so they use two little wheels that spin uh, really fast. That's what you can hear here. That's the sound of the wheels spinning. And then uh, the dart goes between the two wheels and it just pushes it out. Quite effective, but obviously it can be quite loud. Here's another cool thing that Nerf have done, and this is really impressive, is the wheels are actually canted. If you don't know what canted means, it means slightly on an angle, kind of. That's the best way I can put it for you. And what that does is it's intended to spin the dart and increase accuracy. Now we could go as far to compare this to a rifle in the way rifling works, uh, where it spins the actual bullet. So that was in muskets uh, that had rifling to actually rotate the bullet, make it a bit more accurate. So a similar concept, but in a toy, but it's there. So without further ado, we're going to shoot this bad boy. Here we go. Just gonna go full auto, just hold down the trigger. All right, there we go. So it emptied that 25 dart drum. Pretty much eats the darts. Very, very uh, effective, especially with this new mechanism. I think it's, I think it's fantastic. In terms of the candid flywheels, creating that rifling effect, you know, spinning the dart as it goes to increase accuracy, I think that has worked. This is by far my favorite Nerf blaster right now. Uh, so Nerf should be bringing out other ones with candid flowers as well, and that will be very exciting to see what they bring out. Hopefully they just get rid of the uh, pusher mechanism uh, Nerf blasters, because firing those are just so uncomfortable, the semi-automatic ones, because as you pull the trigger, the trigger pull actually mechanically moves the pusher rod forward, and that is quite annoying. So this is a very, very nice blaster. If I was to rate this out of 10, I'd give it an 11. So guys, that's my review of the Nerf Elite Hyperfire. Very nice uh, little toy gun here. You should definitely pick this bad boy up, especially if it's on sale because uh, you know, that just saves you a bit more money. I'd go far enough to say even if this wasn't on sale, I reckon it's still worth the money. That, these are a ton of fun. My brother and I are going to do a couple of voltage mods to these, you know, chuck some 11.1 volts in here. Um, and it's going to really pump up the power, uh, so that'll be quite fun. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.